Arabic and Chinese Mandarin. Well, I realized I made a mistake when I uh, tried to study those languages. I decided to do like 12 an hour a day, 5 days a week. The thing is, I did a lot of crazy weeks, so um, I didn't succeed in the learning of those languages. The learning process, I didn't succeed, I failed. So now I realized that the best way it is to study one hour of Arabic a day and one hour of Mandarin a day. So that's what I will do uh, five days a week. That's what I will start doing pretty soon. Uh, the thing is, um, I was also studying Hindi and I want to get back to Hindi too. So since I want to get back to Hindi too, I will try to put half an hour uh, five days a week and then maybe on on Saturdays half an hour or 45 minutes if I can. Uh, so I will have to make some adjustments here. So one day instead of studying one hour and a half of Swedish, I will study only one hour, one day during the week. The other day, instead of studying two hours of Finnish, I will study one hour and a half so I can make this half an hour to for Indy. And the other day I will restart Romanian, so the following day I will do like, uh, I want to start Thai too, one hour a day, five days a week, so one day I will, uh, I will steal 15 minutes of Thai and 15 minutes of Romanian, the language that I will go back again. And the other day I will, for instance, steal 15 minutes of Arabic and 15 minutes of Mandarin. Because besides uh, Thai, so I want to study one hour of Mandarin, one hour of Arabic, five days a week, uh, and one hour of Thai, except for those days, for that day that I will do like only 45 minutes, uh, there will be one day when I will do like 45 minutes of Arabic, 45 minutes of Mandarin, and seems like 45 minutes of Thai, because I will be stealing 15 minutes uh, to make space, make room for other languages. And those languages are, because I had two more, Hindi, I was already studying and I want to get back to it, and Japanese, uh, I did a few lessons, and so in order for me to have this elf an hour, I, I, I had to, to make these readjustments here, I had to make these readjustments, so elf an hour of Swedish a day, elf an hour of Finnish the other day, and then 15 minutes of two languages in order for me to have the possibility to study these languages here. And now, uh, why did I decide to put one hour a day? Because half an hour I was going nowhere slow and then I, would, I did a lot of crazy weeks. So if I, if I kept doing that, uh, I, won't go, I wouldn't go anywhere. And Arabic is a very hard language and Chinese Mandarin too. And there are languages, there are languages that I want to study on an advanced level. I, I want to do this in an active way. So for Arabic, I will use a living language Ultimate Arabic. For Chinese Mandarin, I'm using colloquial, man, colloquial Chinese and then colloquial Chinese too. And then I have some other courses. I have a lot of slang, uh, PDFs and the book Dirty Chinese that I want to get my fangs on too. And languages like Thai, Japanese and Hindi are languages that I also intend to study on an advanced level. In due course, of course, all in due course, all in due time, all in due course. So that's why I decided to put one hour of Thai. Japanese and Hindi only half an hour because time is short. We can't do everything at the same time. Anyways, I believe that if I kept doing this, half an hour of Japanese, half an hour of Hindi, and since it's only half an hour, if I try to study a little bit on Saturdays, so let's say 45 minutes of Hindi and 45 minutes of Japanese, it will be okay. And I intend to do this during, uh, let's say, uh, one hour of, uh, of Arabic, Mandarin, Thai and stuff like that, at least two years then, and I'll short it down a little bit to 45 minutes. Uh, but until I reach an intermediate level, I need to study one hour, with the exception of that day, which is 15 minutes less. So. This is some sort of a learning tip for you guys too, and this is how I intend to, to study Arabic and Chinese, as well as Thai, Japanese and Hindi. See you guys then.